energy poverty occurs when a household can't access adequate and affordable energy services that are fundamental to a decent quality of life. Step In is a project funded by the European Commission and is designed to tackle this growing problem of energy poverty. The project worked with citizens in three living labs across Europe, including rural Hungary, a mountainous community in Greece and an urban northern area in the UK. The aim of these living labs was to improve people's quality of life through thermal comfort, energy saving and raising energy awareness. The living labs involved citizens attending energy cafes, being visited by expert energy advisors and being provided with personalised information and awareness materials. The energy cafes were events that allowed over 400 locals to ask questions and discuss their energy use with energy advisors in an informal setting. Experts also performed house visits to conduct a range of tasks to provide personalised energy saving support and measures. To ensure the living labs would be effectively coordinated, a methodology was developed to assess results. For each of the mountainous rural and urban labs, the methodology was tailored to suit the region and citizens living there. The UK Urban Living Lab connected with people from lower income or elderly homes. The lab provided advice to 868 households, with adapted households estimated to have energy savings of 8.6% over the next 10 years. The living lab in Hungary focused on a rural area of the country. 605 homes were visited over the course of the lab and we managed to improve the quality of life of around 800 people. 13 households got installed prepaid meters and got reconnected to the energy grid. The mountainous lab in Greece focused on the elderly and people living in under-maintained housing. Over the course of the lab, 150 homes were visited, however 470 homes adopted the proposed measures. ICT tools were used by energy experts, researchers, consumers and the public to support data collection and integration in the living labs, provide analysis to help in the understanding of energy poverty, provide advice for individual consumers, and find solutions for energy poor households. Consumers can use the ICT tool to get personalised advice, unique to that person's house and energy use data, based on the expert's questionnaire. The general public also has access to some parts of the website to get some generic energy saving information based on their area. In March 2020, the COVID-19 global pandemic forced the living labs to suspend operations for three months. Stepin therefore adapted to video and online chats to assess where consumers could make energy savings holding virtual or socially distanced energy cafes. Collaboration with the Step-In project stakeholders was key in the effective running of the Living Labs. Step-In's network of interest included 46 members from varied sectors. The integration of insights drawn from the network of interest is key for Step-In to develop policy recommendations for the effective analysis and tackling of energy poverty and to ensure long-term benefits for energy-poor communities. This successful collaboration brought together 40 people from industry, consultancy, research and academia from eight European nations. Across the 34-month project, three living labs and over 75 virtual and three face-to-face -face events took place. The results of the project were used in six peer-reviewed academic studies and presented at two international conferences in Greece and Italy. The work completed by the Step-In Consortium in reducing energy poverty will enable the citizens within the Living Labs and beyond to have a higher quality of life.